key words here are focus, focus, focus. You know what, Ernest was in the uh, playoffs last year and I would sum up the uh, Ernest and his team as he is a prince who thinks he's a fraud. He's got more talent on his squad than probably any, any of us here. He's got uh, more players, he's, he's got a couple of teams worth of talent back in the background that he can put out there at any time. So if he can just align his confidence with his skill set, we're dead. There's just no way that we can stand up against the Earn Rob machine. He'll, he'll blow us out every time. So, but he, he, he studies and is a student of passing. He, uh, if he can just stay confident and stay focused, like the Don said, then he's a world in trouble. But, uh, but we just hope that he stays like he is. Because that way we continue to keep him away from the top and uh, allow us to have more room up there. But until then, I don't know if we're going to make it. Week right. one. Week one, week Ernest. One. Week one. Week one. We Cowboys go in. We basically. go in together. You lose Be together. Ready. One man, two man enter. One man leaves. That's right, baby. You lose. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the uh, Tennessee Titans, played by a uh, previous DFW Super Bowl champ. He's nicknamed the Guru in the league because the he's a, he's a student. He's a great friend of Reggie. So we're gonna give you the honor, sir. Thank you, sir. You know. Everyone in this league has sort of put Oscar Woodard over on the side as if he isn't anything. He is still a He's champion. Done. He's done. He's still a champion in this league. <laughs> He's and a has-been. And I still have t total faith in him that if he can come back to sticking his emphasis in winning, he will win again. He won he one out. game last year. That's because his head wasn't in it. Oscar, you better get back on it because I'm tired of having to stand up. He for is you. a pretender. You can do it. He's a contender. He is a pretender. He runs that speed. Who came into it. Oakland week one of the playoffs and left with his hind tail out the door. <laughs> he is a pretender. You hear this, Oscar? You have to stand up and handle up on this. That's all I, I can say. But what I, I want to next want to go to is welcome a brand new rookie into the league this year. He uh, lives in just uh, nearby in the Dallas area. He lives in Waco, Texas. He's a high school football coach. He uh, goes on the uh, MSC chat board under Boston 21. His name's Doug Shanfeld, and he's going to be an exciting hey, player. He is. Uh, uh, he is. He is. Diving into this thing head first, he's getting the board from Reds, he's buying teams, he's making contacts all over the place. Reminds me a little bit of maybe myself Stevenson. when I first got into it and how you reached out, became a student, you learned from everybody, you, you imitated everybody, you, you saw things you didn't like people do and you tried to not learn those things, but you can learn from everybody. He's doing that, it's going to be exciting. He's going to take over the, the Super Bowl champion Cincinnati Bengals. Wow. Wow, man. Unbelievable. What a, what a big step here. So hopefully you can take them from and keep them at the top of the list. Um, he's, one of the, he's one of the two true rookies in the league. Uh, the other one's Bill Boyd. Uh, that's going to be exciting as well, taking over the New Orleans Saints because he is a Cajun from a long time ago. So, but we welcome Doug to the league. He's going to be exciting. Can't really talk about his style of play. He's going to be up here soon uh, in the next couple of weeks to do some yes. scrimmaging and do Press the flesh, it's gonna be exciting. So Doug, welcome man, Boston 21. Good luck. Good luck. Welcome, man. Here to help you. Alright, moving on, we're gonna talk about the probably the most prolific passer that most of us have ever seen in, the, in our in our lives. Uh, Don Hudson with the New England Patriots, previously of the Boston Patriots, now the New England Patriots. He came over the other day and I got to watch him scrimmage and he was hitting probably 70 yard passes in the air on a 308 field in a row again and again and again laser shots i'm i'm stunned hey, you know hey is robert over there shaking shaking he we're be. right here <laughs> and uh let me tell you about Don Hudson. Shaking. he is the most prolific passer that i have ever seen wow he can hit 80 and 90 yard passes more so than anyone in the country the guy is dynamite. He's telling me he's going to win it all this year. Scary good. He's got one game pinpointed this year on his schedule. And he will be ready. Uh, definitely a contender. A well-rounded squad. He's great on offense, defense, and uh, 
he will definitely be ready and he will be bringing it. Uh, will definitely be a playoff squad. I think and Vegas right now has him as the uh, the, the odds-on favorite to win the Super Bowl this year. Certainly one of them. There's uh, other people you can talk to as well, but he's one of the folks that uh, that is predicted to go all the way this year and win the title again. It, yeah. would, be, it would be a repeat uh, victory for him in the Super Bowl if he does. If you've got an opportunity to come see this man, come watch him play, come watch him pass, it's a, just unbelievable. I am in total awe. We're going to do our best to air some of those games this year with the DFW Network and Reggie, so it's going to be exciting. One of the things on Hudson that every one over looks is his strategy. He is an outstanding strategist of football. Uh, he has every element of understanding how to win. So I'm expecting really outstanding.